People of Scotland, wake up. It doesn't matter if you're pro-independence or anti-independence. You need to take a serious look at how your beautiful country and rich culture are being destroyed and remoulded by the woke liberal elites and turned into a, a, an unrecognisable dystopian hellhole. Not even Dante could have imagined such a place as what these reprobates are plan to turn your country into. Love her or loathe her, SNP candidate Kate Forbes may no longer be the front runner as party leader because of her Christian beliefs, which are seen by many of her colleagues as incompatible with high office. Yet the SNP's uh, Hamza, Hamza Yusuf, who is a practicing Muslim, is perfectly acceptable as a candidate for the leadership of the SNP. You would swear that Christians were the most dangerous things on earth, wouldn't you? Yes, but look, I don't care whether you're Christian or not. If you have half a brain, you will see that there is something very insidious going on here. And if you are Christian, there are clear elements in the SNP who are not only against Christians taking high office, but as we have seen in more recent times, they are openly opposing traditional Christian values. So voting SNP and being a Christian are probably no longer compatible. Any proud Scot with what we will call traditional values must ask themselves if they can, with all good conscience, vote for a party that would so readily ignore their moral values and traditions just for the illusion of independent self-rule, whilst at the same time handing over rules to the capital of wokeism in Brussels. Why is it acceptable for someone of one faith to hold high office, yet somebody of another faith to be pretty much deselected. Have a long hard think on that if you're thinking of voting for the SNP. Scotland the brave, stand up and take back control of your own politics. Then decide if you want to take back control of your own country, because right now your domestic rights are being decided by people with a vision of Scotland and, and a moral compass that only a fool could share. Or follow. I very much doubt most Scots supported the SNP over the gender thingy and the utter disregard for women's rights and have no doubt this woke ideology is growing with all, within all the main political parties. Yes, Labour, the Tories, all of them. It's time for the people of Scotland and the rest of the UK for that matter to vote for political parties that actually represent their values. Enough is enough, for goodness sake. The people need to be represented. End this ridiculous left-wing, right-wing nonsense. The people need a political party to emerge that produces policies for the benefit of the people, regardless of wherever those policies may fall within the traditional, we'll call prism, or, or shall I say prison, of the political spectrum. Yes, <laughs> the people of Scotland need a political party not bound to the old paradigm of left and right politics and not a party drowning in the sewage of woke ideology coming from Brussels and definitely not aligned to the, any wokeism coming from the metropolitan elite entrenched in Westminster. If the people of Scotland want independence, then be independent in your values from Westminster and Brussels as well, for both are fallen. But you won't be able to get that from a Brussels-serving party, hence the poisoned carbuncle that is weeping upon the face of the SNP. I don't know enough about Kate Forbes to form any coherent opinion of her, but the enemy of my enemy will be interesting to watch. If the UK breaks up and Scotland gains independence, it won't be because of the SNP. <laughs> it will be in spite of the SNP. The credit for any split of the Union will lie firmly in Westminster thanks to decades, centuries, of misrule. But I have to end this by asking one very important question. Does anyone actually believe the unfolding events we are witnessing with the destruction of our traditional values can be stopped regardless of which party is in power? Let us know in the comments section what you think about practising Christians not being fit for office in Scotland, when other people of other faiths are deemed as fit for office. Thank you.